I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. You know, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I sussed when I was 16 and 12, way down the line. But I expressed it differently all through my life. It's the same thing I'm expressing all the time. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean, uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. You know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. Yeah. You know, that's what's insane about it. Yeah. Every country's had a violent revolution for one reason or the other. Not one of them has the freedom we're all talking about. So we're saying give peace a chance, you know, like nobody's ever done it before. And it's not a matter of, we're not thinking in terms of ten years, we're thinking in terms of peace forever, you know. And uh, everybody's talking about now, I want peace now. We can get peace now if we want it now. And the left wing talk about giving the power to the people. You know, anybody knows that the people have the power. All we have to do is awaken the power in the people. The people are unaware. It's like they're not educated to realize that they have power. They put the politicians in power. They vote for the local mayor. The people do it. But the system is so geared that everybody believes that just the father will fix everything. The father being the government. Government will fix everything. It is all government's fault. You know, bad, shake your fist at the government. Well, we are the government. The people are the government and the people have the power, but we must try and make them aware of this. And Yoko was telling me about this great old ancient Chinese book, which tells you how to fight a battle, you know. And, uh, and it says, the, the, the battle is always lost within the castle, you know, like America's falling within, not from within, from yeah. the commies coming. Yeah. The, it's falling apart inside. And this book on how to fight the good fight says that never have every door shut. The enemy then will... Everybody's going to come round and attack. But if you leave one door open, you know where they're going to come in, and then you get them. So intu intuitively, we're doing that. And we leave a door open. They're so busy shouting about haircuts and genitals and naked and long hair that they, they concentrate their ammunition there. We know where it comes from and we get on with the job of selling and, or doing whatever we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And I believe that. You leave the door open, man, and that's where the door they'll come in, you know. Uh, as a beetle, we made it and there was nothing to do. You know, we had money, we had uh, fame, and there was no joy. You know. And then I met Yoko. And she was making it as an avant-garde artist. And uh, we both tried to find something we had in common, a common goal in life, because we couldn't, she couldn't rock and roll with me and I couldn't avant-garde with her. I mean, we can, but that's what we thought at the time. So we decided the thing we had in common was love, and from love came peace. So we decided to work for world peace. And how do you do that? We do it by... The advertising method, we believe that today's society, advertising is the thing politicians use and uh, commercial companies use, the Beatles use it, John and Yoko should use it. Our product is peace. Of less words and more peace. I think the only way to do it is Gandhi's way. And that's non-violent, passive, positive, or whatever they called it those days. You know. We're selling it like soap, you know. And you've got to sell and sell until the housewife thinks, Oh, uh, well, there's peace or war. That's the two products. Peace. 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 Peace in your mind. Peace on earth. Peace at work. Peace at home. Peace in the world. It's to try and get people orientated to think peace, like eat for peace, breathe for peace, and dance for peace, and make love for peace, you know? To just have the peace like a mantra going round and round in your head. War is a game that's gone too far, you know. It's just like we've all just woken up one morning and thought, is it a dream? Is it a nightmare? What's been going on? And we're all just trying to make the next day a bit better. Oh, yeah. I don't want to waste all this film on our face, do we? <laughs> we specifically did the poster event around the world for Christmas to try and get at least one plug-in 
for peace on earth at Christmas because that's what it's about and happy birthday Christ you know is mm -hmm. what it's about if you had one wish for Christmas time what would it be peace peace on earth yeah. and love peace on earth that implies no violence mm -hmm. no starving children no violent minds no violent households no, no violence frustration. no frustration no fear if the house some housewife is against the wall, just put it in the window, you know, just to let her neighbours know or her husband know, you know, you've got to start on the home ground, like, convert your parents. We think we have the right to have a say in the future, and we think the future is made in your mind. It says it, you know, war is over if you want it.